Okay, guys. So there are some two tests that are mostly done together. All right. So these tests are usually done when there's um, congenital hip dislocation. All right. So these tests are known as what is known as a Barlow test, then the Ottolani test. Barlow test, Ottolani test. All right. So for these two tests, it's just quite simple. You can see this is how what Barlow's test is done. Barlow's test is also known as what dislocation test. And this is how what the Ottolani test is done. All right. So moving forward, we see that the Barlow's test and Ottolani test are what clinical maneuvers to dictate developmental what displacure of the hip in infants. You get you are doing this just to diagnose what displacement of the hip in infants, right? So these steps they help toward access the stability of the hip joint and identify any potential what dislocation or subluxation. Okay. So look at the auto and the balance test first. We said that for the balance test, it's done to identify potential or posterior dislocation potential dislocation or subluxation of the hip okay for the procedure the infant is placed in a supine position with the hips and knees flexed to 90 degrees okay supine facing up all right hip and knees flexed to 90 degrees so the examiner stabilizes the pelvis with one hand then grabs the infant ties with the other hand then gentle pressure is now applied to the tie while adducting that's bringing the tie towards the midline okay so what is the positive result now you see that the positive ballot test is indicated if the hip can be dislocated with this maneuver all right often first felt as a clunk as a femoral head pops out of the acetabulum do you understand so you pick all of that then you make your diagnosis with it the autolanin test, which is this small flight, they said it's a reduction test. So for autolanin test, we said that this one too is done to what? Dictate a dislocated hip to access its reducibility. Okay. So for the procedure, we said that the infant is placed in a supine position with the hips and knees flexed to 90 degrees. The examiner stabilizes the pelvis and grabs the infant's thigh, then abducts. This one are kind of like spreading it out, okay? So you abduct the tie while applying gentle anterior pressure, okay? For positive results, so that is dictated, is detected if a clunk is felt as the femoral head relocates back into the acetabulum, right? So all these tests they are like done together, okay? So I think basically that's it. I'm trying to do this. By uh, oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm just waking up. All right, in trying to do this ballast test on Ottolani test, all right? So, guys, that was it.